been Oli. What do you do? What do you do? <gasps> what do you do? So, with today's video, um, it's a DIY, and I saw this outfit on Pinterest. Pinterest? That one? Yeah, I saw this outfit and I was like, oh my gosh, baby. I need a gachi, like I need a gachi, okay? I need a gachi, all right. This is the outfit. Just so I found this fabric um, that my mom had, and then I was like, let me try this baby look because it has like this traditional kind of look. You saw that outfit had like you know that yeah. So this fabric had that, right? And I was like, okay. <laughs> we are getting in there now, in with M, in through in th with. I want to try it out, so I was like, oh, come on, man. Yellow lining. Go wrong. I do that. I like. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get into the video. First things first, I'm not realized. <laughs> anyway. So now, first thing that you're going to do, you know, jokes aside, you're going to line up a shirt that you like a sh um, like the fit off, yeah? So you're just going to literally trace it out onto the fabric. Um, unfold. The fabric must be unfold, okay? So that you cut it once for two pieces, you know, then you're done. And then the next step, I'm just going to like... Put a line here to just help me out with like knowing which is the center and then i'm gonna draw the shape that curved shape for that like heart shape what what's you know and then also add seam allowance don't forget to add seam allowance it really helps so you're just gonna see me doing that and then that's it so because of the design of the fabric i had to recut my top so you that's what you're seeing me doing here i'm just using the um the other template on this new um design of the fabric so that i get a different angle of those flowers things so that's what i'm doing here literally so that's practically it i'm just fixing my problem <laughs> Don't worry, don't get scared now. We're just taking one of those pieces that we cut out and we're just literally removing those um, those curves and also cutting it in the middle. This is the back piece. Um, we um, it will You will insert a zipper or like anything that you would like to have at the back of your shirt. So then after that, I'm just gonna show you the measurement of my waist which is 22 inches um, and then we're just gonna half that because we're gonna cut the fabric um, unfold and then the number that you get it on half you mark it on down the fabric and then literally just trade right draw what wow. whoa <laughs> you know what just look at the video you will see like wow the reason why I use inches is because they're big enough for me to see so like quick so don't mind that Y'all remember when I said, don't forget the seam allowance, right? Yes, don't bore now. Let's go. Like, yo, El Calvado, this me. Like, why this dog is always barking when I'm recording? I don't understand, guys. Like, I'm so sorry for this dog. But anyway, you're just going to see me doing that. And then after you just literally cut it out. And you just put it aside. Please tell me why is this fabric not on my side? Like it doesn't want to open. It. Gosh. So next is the skirt. Guys, like when I tell y'all that I finessed this, I finessed this. <laughs> I don't even know what I did. <laughs> I don't even know what that line I'm drawing. Like what is it for? No, I think that's the length of my skirt. But I forgot, wow, well, I, I really, like, I really don't know what I did, guys. Um, but I'll link the video that I actually saw, like, that inspired me to also do this. 
she explains it way better so yeah just watch me do the skirt part the bottom part of the skirt So the previous one i was cutting out two pieces of the skirt because of one pockets in the middle like on the sides i mean so you just see me right here doing like literally finessing another pocket um shape which is like half hot unfold and then you literally just cut it out like just make sure that your hand is big enough so um you're just gonna need two pieces of that and then that's it This is me showing you guys the pieces, all the pieces that you will need, you know, the top, the three pieces of the top, the pockets, which are four pieces in total, um, the waistband, and then the skirts, the, the, the front and the back, and the two zippers, which <coughs> there's a story there, but we, we move, okay, we move. Okay, now let's deal with this top. Like, this top took me to heaven and hell, you know. And and it, it then it, it brought me back to earth. Ne? And then it, it, it tumbled dried me in the washing. While being on the motorbike. Which is pulled by a donkey. It was, it was difficult. But we moved. So next, because I want the, you know, that thing, yeah, that mush mush thing on the skirt. So because I want that, I took two um, elastics, which I like, I cut, which are like shorter than the, the skirt's fabric. Um, but it was still long enough to actually cover the skirt's length. Uh, I mean, the width, I mean. Uh, I literally cut those and then I sewed them down um with my machine on both of the sides and then after that it worked like a charm like you'll see now it's time for the sewing part so i'm just gonna sew up this shirt on the sides and the skirts with the elastic and then i'll show you guys what's next right so next we're gonna be adding the pocket sides so i'm just gonna line up the shapes and boy i struggled like it took me a minute for me to figure out how these things should sit like yo <laughs> okay so i finally got the hands of it so i'm just pinning them down and then i'm just gonna sew on both sides so that the um the, the pocket has that clean look from the outside you know you see that, yeah, you see the fabric inside the pocket. Yes, that's what I'm doing right there. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm just going to join them. And then uh, that's it. Now that I've included the pockets, uh, we're going to join the skirts, the back and the front uh, piece of the skirt by going down through the, uh, what you call this, the pocket. You see me, the way I'm pinning down, I'm going to pin down, like going down the skirt and also on the other side. And then I'm just going to sew it down. So next I'm just going to add the waistband on the skirt. Um, the right side's kissing first and then we're just going to sew it down with a straight stitch 
going all around um i had to do some finessing because the skirt was all of a sudden big and i didn't understand why but uh, yeah you see me doing the waistband and we're just gonna add it and sew it around and i'll show you what to do next After we added the waistband, it's time to add the zipper. Now, guys, zippers are the devil. Zippers are lucifers because sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're not gonna you his, but I went through hell with this one, guys. So I'm just gonna fold in the waistband. You see me, you know, right? And then I'm just gonna measure from the fold of the waistband to so that I can put in the zipper, which I'm pinning in. And then after that you can literally actually just test it out and see if it's okay and then after you see that it's fine you're gonna sew that down and also sew your waistband down going around as well and then you're literally almost done with your skirt <laughs> So now baby girl and girl wants to show some leg <laughs> so i'm just adding a slit on the side you know just gonna literally cut a small triangle and then after that i'm just gonna hem it down and i'm literally done with the slit Next, I'm just gonna crop the shirt and then I'm, goes, I'm also gonna hem the top and also hem the bottom. And then I didn't add a zipper because no, babes, that zipper was not, was, yeah, was not going with me. So I did those zigzag things with the string and then I was done. <laughs> 